Hi there, this is Aaron. Today is Saturday the 26th of April and it's day 46 on the allotment. <laughs> well, uh, today is the first day that I've been back in just over a week. I was here on Good Friday and uh, I was aiming to uh, get a, a video done but uh, actually there was so much work to be done that I, I actually just got on with working and didn't do a lot of videoing. Um, so we're back today. I, I wasn't able to get over for the rest of the Easter weekend because uh, myself and my wife, we were away for the weekend. But uh, back today and uh, looking to get stuck in. So let's see what we're going to get up to. Well, in here you can see that all of my strawberries are growing and it's starting to show really that uh, this container is too small for all of the strawberries. Um, there's probably one more I could... Uh, uh, I could put down the side here. Um, if I come round, you can see from here I've got it hanging out of all sides there. Um, this is well and truly packed with strawberries, so I'm very, very pleased with them. Um, but I'm hoping now that uh, I haven't overcrowded them and uh, that they, uh, they won't give me strawberries. If I move out of uh, the light a little bit, you can see that better. But uh, very, very pleased with my strawberries. This is the weekend when these broad beans get well and truly weeded. Um, I'm absolutely ashamed of myself at how long I've uh, left this. And some of the weeds are actually getting ridiculous. So, uh, yeah, that's the main thing that I'm going to be doing today. You can see that uh, my white currant is really coming along. Very, very pleased with that. Full of healthy growth. These are me onions. Um, they need another Epsom salts dose, I think. Um, but they actually look as if they're starting to plump up, which I'm very, very pleased about. So uh, looks as if we might get some onions from the sets that I planted and overwintered. You can probably see that there is a proliferation of dandelions all over the place, and I need to pull all those out as well. Uh, this is my garlic. A um, little bit yellow, but uh, more green definitely than yellow. So uh, I think they're doing okay. So uh, pleased with me garlic coming along that uh, was also overwintered. Just got to weed this out so that uh, they've got uh, nothing to compete with. Around here, in amongst the cooch grass, <laughs> which has got to be pulled out, um, these are all of my autumn raspberries coming through again. So, uh, yeah, definitely more than there was last year. And this is the red currant. Um, beautiful life on that, beautiful colour on that. Very, very pleased. Need to weed all around this so that there isn't any encroachment in the container. And uh, as you can see, more dandelions. Uh, and here is my rhubarb. Um, again, it needs weeding, but uh, it's coming on. There's a few holes in these leaves, so something's been at it. Um, I don't know what. I actually thought that rhubarb leaves were poisonous, so I didn't realise there was a pest that fed on these. Um, should I be doing something to uh, protect these? Um, little nibbles, if I show you. This is one of my annua bags, and you can see in there that potatoes are coming through. They're coming through in quite a few bags. So uh, this one as well. In fact, all of the first ones that I planted. And uh, there are little shoots appearing in the second batch that I planted. Nothing coming through in the Golden Wonder, nothing coming through um, in the International Kidney. But the Anya is firing away. So uh, really pleased about that as well. As I say, I did come down on uh, Good Friday and uh, I spent most of the time actually in the greenhouse getting things potted on. So uh, if I just show you how the greenhouse was um, at the end of Good Friday. We've had a bit of a reorganisation in the greenhouse. This is actually one of my chilies from home that I've brought down and the idea is to see if it survives. It, it's the one that was the most nibbled, the one that is highly unlikely to give fruit, um, or even chilies. Um, but therefore, if it can live, then the others should live as well. Underneath those, we have my leeks that are potted out into individual 
pots and they're all doing very well. They're looking very straight and getting very, very tall. What I have been doing is potting out um, my brassicas. Now these five here, they are red cabbage and these, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, five here, they are white cabbage. My cucumbers are really coming along now. Um, the celery, you can see there that they're really growing on top. And uh, also, um, the Brussels sprouts are really growing as well. Here are the rest of my leeks that are in the uh, fish um, box. And uh, they're all growing very well as well, very tall, very straight. They look very, very healthy. What I've also done today is to finally plant out uh, my onions in exactly the same way. Um, some of them are further along than others. Some of them might not make it. Um, some of them are actually looking quite amazing, actually. So really, really pleased with onions. Here I've put all of my peas together. Now there seems to be one that hasn't grown out of there or perhaps some things had it. I'm not sure. But uh, all in all, my peas, I think, they're looking great. So uh, very pleased with those. So here is the uh, Loloroso that I um, potted on. And next to it, we have the little gems. There's actually more little gems than Lollarosos. Uh, I must have sprinkled more seeds down, but uh, they're doing very well as well. They've just been potted on today, whereas the Lollarosso were done last weekend. So pleased about that. Now these are my runner beans. I've put all the runner beans together. Now you see some of those are actually starting to come through in the toilet rolls. I've planted some more out um, in um, the uh, plastic cups. So we'll see which ones do better. And these are the first ones that I planted out. And actually all three of those are coming through. I thought I only planted one. But uh, it looks like three of them are coming through. So pleased about that. What I did in here is I've actually planted some sunflowers. Now uh, a couple of them are coming through and obviously I don't really want too many sunflowers. Uh, I just didn't know how many to plant, see how many would come up. These are seeds that I actually got at the Edible Garden Show. They were just giving them out free so I thought we'd give those a go. Now what we have here, these five, um, are actually my I think they are my cauliflower. Let's have a better look. And what that means is that these five, if the others are cauliflower, then these are purple sprouting broccoli. And uh, so that was it then. So uh, now let's take a look at it today because a lot's been going on really. <laughs> I was very interested um, in how my chilli plant would do down here and it certainly looks as if it's carried on growing. I did notice that the temperature almost got to zero uh, during the coldest part of the week but not quite and this chilli plant looks strong enough to take it so I might be able now to bring my other chilli plants down to make room for the seedlings. And ultimately, of course, what I'd like to do is to bring the seedlings down. Um, it's sort of uh, 30 degrees in here now. It was 35 when I got here. Um, it had had a maximum temperature of 46, so it does get very hot in here. And I think the chilies might like it. You can see that uh, one of the broad beans, a couple of the broad beans coming through, and this one which really came through. I mean, that's ready to be planted out. Um, but uh, not a lot from the others, so uh, I'm definitely doing something wrong with these seeds. Maybe I'm giving them too much water. I'm going to be planting out my cucumbers at the back and also, sorry, not planting out, potting on my cucumbers at the back and also potting on my Brussels sprouts at the front. Um, I'm not going to do anything with my celery yet because that's still growing a little bit. Um, it's having a little water now, but I'm going to pick those out of the water um, so that uh, they don't get waterlogged. My larger leeks. Now, I saw, um, I've seen a couple of videos really about planting out leeks, and it really does look like a brutal process that these poor leeks are going through, but I mean, I'll take everyone's word for it. The question is, how big are leeks? I've been told 
to wait until they're pencil size. Now, does that mean pencil length, in which case some of them are ready now, or does that mean pencil width? Um, so, you know, I've got to wait for them to uh, get a little bit fatter before I plant them out. If anybody knows the answer to that, I'd really appreciate it. But I've uh, been watching the technique, um, including some that sort of snip stems and which snip half off the roots. Um, but uh, as Andy said, um, they're tough plants, they can take it. So I'll definitely take your word for it. Peas are continuing to grow. I mean, these are all ready to be put out now and uh, I just need to get a move on and prepare that bed and get them planted out. These are the rest of the alums. These are my leeks um, that have been uh, um, placed in the, um, the fish box. And they're doing great. And next to them are the onions. And all of them are straight and growing up. And uh, it looks as if we'll have some onions to uh, replace the sets when they're ready to come out. So pleased about that. This Lollaroso cabbage, I can't quite believe how well this has done. Um, it's filling this pot um, and also the little gems. They're doing really well too. So uh, um, I, I probably need to think about planting these out. Um, first or second week of May, which is sort of just a week away now. So, uh, need to be uh, doing things with these. Here we've got runner beans that are coming into life. Now these were the first ones that are planted, and so they're coming through. Um, these are also coming through. I have planted some more. This is all of my runner bean seeds in now. Um, so if they all come through, I'll have plenty of runner beans, and this is the Enorma variety. I mentioned um, that last week I, I'd started off a pumpkin and uh, was growing that. Well, this is the quote-unquote giant pumpkin, but I've also got some Cheyenne uh, pumpkins that uh, I've placed um, into these pots and also into one of the little modules. I don't know... Um, which of these is going to grow the best. There's two seeds in each of the pots and there's one seed in the module so I'll see which one comes through. I can't grow that many of these and I know they take up a lot of space and I know that they're enormous so I don't want to plant all of my pumpkins out. Yeah, to be honest if I just get one of each and can claim a couple of pumpkins I'll be happy um, but uh, yeah we'll see how many of them do come through. Just down here these are sunflowers. They've come through so quickly. I mean, some of them haven't fired, um, but some of them look ready to be potted on to me. So I need to do things with these sunflowers and get those ready as well. So there we've got it. That's where we are. We're all up to date with uh, how I've been getting on. Now it's time to actually just get on with the work. So uh, to quote Blue Star Dave, I'm going to crack on. Now here's the cucumbers that uh, I've just uh, potted on. This is the uh, burpless uh, variety. Now it says that it, these can be grown indoors or out. I don't believe that this is going to grow outdoors and so I'm going to keep it in here. Now my plan, um, I've potted them on uh, now in two pots. They, they're still in the, uh, the little um, pouches that uh, uh, the coir pouches that uh, expand up. So I've just uh, filled that with um, compost, um, the coir compost that's mixed with the leaf mould, um, and uh, I've just placed the uh, the little parcel inside. So uh, the, the roots haven't been disturbed at all, and uh, now they'll just have uh, more room to grow in. They've also then been given a very good water uh, to settle them in. Now my plan is once I've got, let's pull back a bit, once I've got everything potted on and potted out, this bottom area down here, on this side, my plan is to get some really big containers. And I've seen some in home base um, and B&Q that are fairly inexpensive um, that I think are the right size. I need to measure up and uh, see if uh, they will fit inside this gap so that then I take these tray tops off and what I've got then is an area that uh, my cucumbers can grow up. So uh, I think that's going to work. So the plan is cucumbers this side and then chilies this side. Um, we're getting to the point where everything's going to be potted on and planted out, um, but the weather's changing. 
So uh, that's going to uh, leave room for my chilies. Here you can see that uh, what I've done is I've uh, potted on all of my Brussels sprouts. There's uh, 10 plants that I've put into, gosh, are they 4-inch or are they 5-inch pots? Um, they're still in the, uh, the Koya uh, little parcels and so their roots are still tightly packed. I didn't um, interfere with those because uh, I know that brassicas don't like their roots um, to be anything other than packed. So the idea is that now they're in here, the next time they will go straight into the ground. Uh, I'm starting to run out of space actually. I don't know if you can see that or if you can hear it, but it is absolutely chucking it down. With the best will in the world, I'm not going out weeding in that. So now what I've done along the back here, I've actually planted four more cucumbers because I, I think sort of, you know, I could probably fit two cucumbers in that station there, two cucumbers in that station there, and two cucumbers in that station there. So that would mean that uh, I currently have three. So that would mean that, yeah, you know, if I got another three out of these four, that I would have then enough cucumbers to fill the whole of this side. So that's what we're doing. I don't know how many I'm going to get, if I'm going to get any. Uh, I don't know if this is a great idea. I don't know if it's a really stupid idea, but we're going to give it a go. Well, it's getting towards the end of the day now. Um, the day has really been uh, disjointed. I mean, I've, uh, I've potted on everything that I wanted to, and uh, um, I've done a little bit of weeding. I haven't done really very much weeding because uh, the heavens kept opening. Um, the cooch grass is coming back with a vengeance. Uh, I've got to get to grips with that, uh, which means digging further into the soil. Um, but of course, clay when it's wet is uh, not an easy thing to dig. So uh, <laughs> the will is there, the plants are coming. I just need a little bit of good weather to prepare the ground. Um, but I guess that's uh, what, every, uh, what happens every year to every gardener. So uh, I've just got to persevere. <laughs> Well, that was day 46 on the allotment. I'm going to come back tomorrow and see if I can do more. And so I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.